Hi, thank you for tuning in. Um, in this recording, I'm just going to go over a couple of things that I've been getting for as far as clearings go with um, within yourself, and if you're a, if you're a twin flame within the twin flame as well. So, what I've been seeing a lot of, and and this is just you know that the energies are you know fluxing and flowing and you know, so much is going on within the unions and within your your personal journey on um on your path and your spiritual path but you know this um i'm going to cover a couple of things i know i talk a lot about entities and attachments and so and how like certain things can kind of come into your mind your body your soul spirit just kind of really try to keep you down and what we we need is just just an anointing an anointing to keep going forward you know an opening of the heart and i do feel that our heart center and getting in touch with our sacred heart um i i use and i go through the divine mother all the time and she helps so much and this christ energy and really keeping connected to the divine um to god to source whatever that is whatever that looks like for you um remember like you know your the your walk and your path is is um is basically you know it's for you you know and how do we how do we know what we're doing what our life purpose is and what are we here for um especially if we're feeling like um pitiful and sad and abandoned or lonely you know these are the things these are the triggers that are coming up and so many people feeling um downhearted and and depressed and melancholy and um you know these can come up and a lot of the times these are here for us to clear and to work through and i've talked about this in many of my videos um and if you're a twin flame it it's it's just a little different, you know, uh, it's um, some really intense emotions, some intense um, clearings that are happening between the union. So if you want to look at it kind of like a DNA strand, like imagine like a strand of DNA and between the, the union, there is like there is a code. Right. So each DNA strands comes with a, a certain code, so it comes with a certain type of structure. One type of one side of the. Um, of the DNA code is holding a certain frequency and the other side is holding another frequency so the yin and yang um you know depicted on the the yin and yang so in the twin flame dynamic in uh, within yourself and you could take this internally if you don't uh, fall into the twin flame category you don't label yourself as a twin flame um you could still be feeling some of these emotions and once i like kind of i'm going to cover some of them and um you know it can kind of uh, make sense a little bit kind of like oh put things into perspective into a different perspective uh so we're we're just kind of going in here and, and how i see things through the um the physical body the emotional body the energetic body and and some of these um energies that we're holding on to within ourselves our cellular dna memories our past life memories and also coming through like our ancestry dna so sometimes we can get these um type of um energetics through our ancestors so i'm going to go into here and just kind of like hit on a couple of things so abandonment abandonment is something that comes up a lot for twin flames uh, so much you know abandonment and maybe your your counterpart could be feeling like they're effort is being unreceived or maybe that's you like i'm trying so hard to clear and clear and clear and my effort isn't being received so that reflects abandonment with me or maybe your beloved has abandonment maybe you have a fear of betrayal and there's heartache within the union okay maybe there is love that has been unreceived by you or your beloved this makes you feel very vulnerability this this just uh, and that opens you up to maybe feeling um, anger or despair, okay? Um, some crying can lead to confusion. Maybe when your beloved is crying, you're like, why do I feel so confused right now? For no reason. No reason at all, okay? Um, when you or your beloved is feeling rejection, the other one can be feeling like grief or something, okay? 
um if one is feeling jealousy the other could be feeling shame um one could be feeling the energy of overwhelm and the other one can be feeling worthless so a lot of the times this can happen uh worthlessness comes up a lot in so many unions like don't feel worthy of love and you know whatever i do is not good enough your beloved could be feeling very overwhelmed and you're just picking up on that overwhelming and within you it feels the worthlessness so we really need to cleanse and clear that out um and it could just go on and on and you know it, there's not a like a particular way of how this can be like one could have like feel like they don't have a lot of a sense of control any control in their life so this could be feeling helpless within the other twin or there's worry um within you and, and it causes the other one to have low self-esteem do you see how like this is like kind of like really correlating so these are all lies that we tell ourselves these are all lies that we believe and in any of these spirits some of these energies can come with attachments that come in and and you know kind of create like these entanglements within the energy field this is how i see it like i see like knots or tangles and you know when it needs to be diffused um we want that to to first of all go in there and stop believing the lies like i'm believing this lie and and um i'm going to dissipate that or unravel this um and it, it does feel like you're suffering it's like this inner battle this is something that you're suffering from or uh, this is something that you can ask the holy spirit to assist you with and removing and seeing and clearing um uh, some times you do need some one-on-one -on -one coaching and i'm here for that uh, i do we we go in through a talk therapy and then i go into your um into a personal clearing for you and then i give you home play give you homework and then it's continued support through email so if you like a one-on-one -on -one session with me we could go into that further um, i also do personal clearings where we record it in a recording it's like a customized recording for you um it could be for just you or your union if you're a twin flame and to assist you with uh, just you know removing this is something that you can um you can hold on to and download yourself and listen to it at any time i also do distant clearings uh, as well so i will you will tell me like you know these are the issues or this is what i'm working through right now and i need some assistance and in, in clearing this or feeling better or whatnot and so i just kind of take you into my prayer and my devotional time and just add you in and just really kind of work on your field and and remove things that um that i see is there if you would like the one-on-one -on -one time good um i do suggest that because i do help you to clear yourself um you know sometimes we want somebody to do all the work for us and um, it doesn't always work that way you know i i can only do so much and uh, but you know once you have the tools and learn how to do this on your own um it's it's it just comes a lot better and you have just so much peace within yourself and the anointing that you receive through this um this type of knowing and this type of just educating yourself and really like understanding okay like this is the energetics this is how it works um you know i am feeling the energy of betrayal and that is causing a wormhole to come in and make me feel really bad okay so we want to clear that out and stop believing the lie remove the serpent as i like to say because that's how i see it um remove that and any other attachments that come through that energy you know and, and recognizing that recognizing that within yourself recognizing that within your beloved recognizing that within your union and also like a sense of surrendering to um and, and it is that but we all need sometimes we need coaching sometimes we need to know how to how do you do this you know how does this work how can i feel better you know um always connecting to source always 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 you know connect to source connect to source connect to source whatever that looks like for you um it could be so different there's so many different um like do this do that do this do that you know there's so many different types of education and different types of things out there it could be very confusing for people um but remember this that you know the divine doesn't give us the energy of confusion um it, it should be very clear when the divine is speaking to you and um, when you're hearing 
go here, go there, go there. It should be very simple, very easy, you know, a, a very easy surrender, a very easy heart opening, uh, a very easy just, you know, not frustrating. If you're feeling frustrating, we want to move that out and just really simplify things. And um, the more simple it is, you know, the easier it is, uh, you know. The divine created people like me and there's other healers out there that um assist in this way assist in in you helping to believe in yourself more and um believing in in the divine uh because ultimately it's this like you know um we want to a fast solution we want to press the button and we want everything to be healed manifested and everything in in the snap of a hand but we sometimes don't understand what's going on behind the scenes there is learning there's growth there is um strength happening there is fortitude there's all these beloved virtues happening within you within your beloved um and around you of of your your personal world your perception of what's going on around you um, and remember, like your perception of things is different than than the divines, different than your guardian angels. Um, it's different than your beloveds. Um, it, it's different, and the way we perceive things is very unique. And there's our tools, and there's so much out there. Um, just make sure you are you are standing in what's true for you, what resonates for you. Does that sit right with you? If it does, then go with it. If it doesn't, you know, leave it and walk away. That's not for me. I don't believe that. That's fine. Not everybody is going to believe in the same thing. We're all very unique. We're all very different. But there's one thing that we do believe in, and it's love. One thing that everybody believes in, and it's love. Love is the foundation. Love is what gets poured into each and every one of us. It's love that that creates such a beauty in our lives and beauty in others. It's love that we want for ourselves. It's love that we want for everybody to feel love, to feel happiness, to feel joy, to feel peace, to feel contentment within themselves, within their mind, within their bodies, within their souls, to feel this overjoy of ever expansive love in every way, you know. Um, love can heal love is just so amazing and true love love from the divine you know there's many different facets of love we can get into romantic love and all of that but there's that one language that we all speak no matter what no matter what you believe or if you agree with somebody if you don't agree with somebody and it's love and that's one thing that the divine is showing us here in every way is to really truly believe in that. And wherever you're called, I have such a strong connection to Christ. Um, it's unbelievable. But whatever you're called, go there. Go see, explore what is the divine speaking to you in that way and wherever you're guided to where what is it that is being shown to you what is it that is you know what is the code there that you need to unfold for yourself so um you know and, and discern what is the truth what is true what is true for you and what is the truth you know, we all want to know, what's the truth here? You know, there's so many different, like I said before, there's so many different avenues to go into. It could get very confusing. But what is true for you? Keep praying, keep asking, and keep being shown, keep being guided. We may stumble, we may fall, but we'll always get back up, no matter what that is. Um, our DNA codes are being lit up. Our DNA codes are being activated. Um, there's so many heart activations, uh, DNA activations, brain activations, um, downloads, and um, of, of so many things. We want to discern and make sure that we are receiving the light of the most holy, the most high, 
here. Okay, and just continue that flow of energy. In activations, um, a lot of people get scared. A lot of people get scared what's happening within the body. Um, you know, you could be feeling progging, crawling type of sensations in your body. This can cause a lot of fear. There shouldn't be any fear. It should be calmness. If there is fear in you, um, you know, if that's bothering you, if you're getting touched or you feel anything from the divine that's not appropriate for you, um, tell it to stop. It'll stop. They have to, you have so much authority over your body that um, sometimes I guess people forget that. We have authority over our body. You have authority over your body. Okay, it's not just out there for some entity just to ride on, take a ride on. Um, that's not the case. Okay, so um, I know I'm kind of just jumping around here, but this is just kind of some of the stuff that's been coming to me uh, through some emails, and um, just I, I just needed to kind of clarify some stuff, give some hope, um, and remind everybody that we're just we're all here, we're all here for love, you know. It's it's actually very simple, and um, yeah, there's there's things that are out there, but it's nothing that the light cannot diffuse. The light is so bright. It is exceptionally bright. I'm going to share with you this meditation. So I was in a meditation the other night and um, I've been working with the heart consecration with the Divine Mother. And it, it's it's amazing because I've been having just these um, heart uh just tapping I feel like a tapping on my heart as I'm working with her and also um in meditation I just seen this such a beautiful stream of light that's like platinum right light that it was coming from the crown of my head straight to source straight to the divine god whatever it is you want to call it um it's just straight just straight down and it looks like a bird so like the the image of the holy spirit and was right there and it was just so beautiful so much love and i was just like wow that's so profound um that this is happening so these downloads these openings are happening uh and it's not easy it's not easy to go through you know it's like oh when am i going to be done with this when is this going to be done um I, I don't know uh for anyone's particular case on when it's going to be done uh for you but we all have a divine walk and uh wherever it is is that is for you whatever it looks like for you know that it's you know meant for you and and also um you know there's no one place to get to it's we're growing we're learning we're learning how energy works within our body our emotional body we're learning how to release ourselves from trapped emotions we're learning about abundant health and love and happiness this is all growth within us this is all something that we've you know signed up for to learn and the uncomfortable feelings are are here to sh teach us okay yes this is mine no this is not mine yes i will hold on to this i will let go and surrender this i need an anointing i need uh this my body needs this i need to go here i need to be around this energy following our guidance following our intuition this is all part of us growing you know, realizing I have trapped emotions here. I have these beliefs here that are toxins to me. My energy field is maybe imbalanced. You know, all of this is learning. You're learning. You know, what works for one person may not work for another. But, you know, there's people here that... Um, 
can help. So discern, discern on, okay, yes, this is where I'm going, or no, this is where I'm going. Okay, um, just really sit with that and and um, try not to get so confused because there's so much um, so much information that's out there for for us. Um, it, it should be simple. It really should. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, be blessed. And like I said, if you would like any one-on-one with me, uh, there's, uh, you know, I offer so much. Um, I offer so much and so much for um, everybody just uh, in different price ranges because I want to be able to for everybody to get something i offer my youtube channel for free and then i have um ranges out from uh, 25 dollars to on up you know so um it's something there's a little something for everybody so many blessings to you and uh just you know uh, if you want to know any more about what i do please contact me email me um I, i try to get back as soon as i possibly can all right thank you